And this has an interesting story. This is called the Canaloa Squat Lobster. And it was, again, brought up in one of these lobster trap collection trips on the research vessel. And I just thought it looked so great in my little aquarium. And I called it the stilt walker. The scientists on the vessel weren't sure what it was. They said it looks like some kind of bridge between lobsters and crabs in terms of its morphology, sort of how it's, how it's built. Um, and it turned out, upon further investigation, that it was a new species to science. And so the scientists on that expedition actually collected the animals, which was a little difficult for me because it meant that my photographs of the living animals were sort of like their swan song, and then they were euthanized and collected in alcohol. But when the scientists weren't sure what it was, or if it was a new species, they had to collect the specimen so that they could do the detective work to determine what species it was, or if it was a new species, and also to do the, the DNA work. And it turned out this was a new species, and it's been described officially based on this one specimen. And that's called a holotype, and that's in a museum in Australia. So for every species that's ever been described, there's a holotype, one particular specimen that is decided to be the exemplar of that particular species, and it's held. They're extremely valuable and precious um, to scientists at some museum around the world. And of course, more and more, this has all become digitized and easier to track. So this is the Canaloa squat lobster, new species to science.